Hello and welcome to the solution video for Workout Wednesday for Power BI 2023 week 31. My name is Megan and I'll be taking you through the solution. This week we are making a Mary Mako chart also called a mosaic plot. This is kind of like a stacked column and a stacked bar chart put together or a 100% stacked column and bar chart put together. So both the width and the height represent a different variable in each segment. Our data is something that I manually compiled from the Women in the Workplace 2022 study from McKinsey and Company and leanin.org. You can get it off of data.world. Account for data.world is free. You will need an account to get to this, but it, once you create one, you should have access and you'll need to grab the information at the top to be able to connect using Power BI. So I'm starting from scratch here. And I'm going to use my data.world connector. And the owner is in Longoria and the data set ID is WOW 2023 WK31. It will ask you to sign in. And then you should see this table with three columns. And the first thing I'm going to do is select the level column and transform it just a little bit. So I'm going to capitalize each word and then I need to fix a couple of the values. So VP We'll keep its both capital letters, so will SVP. And then I'm going to rename my columns. And in my visual, I'm showing women versus other, so we need to know for the other. I'm going to call that men and other, and it's going to be 100 because our values are already a whole number representing a percentage minus women. I'm going to take these last two columns and unpivot them and I'll rename to gender and percent. Fix that to a whole number there. And then because I want my levels to match this particular order, which is not alphanumeric, I'm going to do a little trick here. So I'm going to sort descending. Oh, I have a typo. Let me go that real quick. Okay, 
So I've sorted. And then I'm going to a step in here using the formula bar. So what we're doing is we're grouping the table created by the previous step, but we're also adding an index column so that I don't need to include gender because it's already there. When I expand all of my rows out, I get this level rank column. And so it's going to make sure entry level is 1, C-suite is 6, within each gender. So now I've got my table. Forgot to rename it there. Women in workforce is a better name. And I don't need to summarize the rank. And I'm going to set a sort by column for level. And then I can start adding some DAX. We need just a few DAX measures to make this happen. We first got just a sum of the percent column. We're getting whatever is selected as far as the gender, whatever is selected as far as the level when a user is interacting with our visual. And then we're going to get into a few more DAX measures that help with the description. So this one gets the level distribution. And if only one level is selected, it's going to use that and add. And if more than one level is selected, then we assume it is 100%. This one is where we start building sentences to describe what's going on. So it might say women make up X percent of all entry level jobs based on what the user has selected in our visual. And if they haven't selected anything, this one is blank. This one is slightly different. So if something is selected, it works in a similar manner, but for levels. If nothing is selected, we leave instructions for select a segment in the mosaic plot to the left to, to, to learn more about the representation of women versus other genders in the corporate pipeline. So now I have my data. I'm going to set up my page. I used a background image.
then I put a couple of text boxes. Top. I'm going to go fix my theme real quick. All right, there's the outside stuff. I used a text box. For the title. Of my chart so that I could color the word women the same color. As what I used in the chart. And then I used another text box, which we'll populate in a second, um, to give that description on the right once a user has selected something. And I just put a white background with some transparency over it so that it will stand out a bit. And we're going to go get our Mako visual. I did use a custom visual for this. It's made by Microsoft. I'm going to move this up and resize it just a bit. Make it go down to about there. So to populate this, I'll use level gender gender percent but I'm going to rename it just slightly here and level distribution rename that level as a percent of workforce. And I'm not putting anything in category sorting. So let's format this a little bit. I'm going to leave my column borders white with a two pixel space. I'm not using data labels. I will turn on the legend, but I don't need the title there. And so before I turn this off, you'll notice when we get into the smaller sections, uh, it stops labeling and truncates and I don't like that. So I'm going to make my own labels with text boxes so that I can place them. And I decided I don't really need the Y axis. I need to turn off the title first. And there I've sorted. So now it's the same order as my ultimate visual. 
But again, this is entry level. We want people to be able to see that this is C-suite. So here's what I did. I just used text boxes to make, I'm gonna pull this down a little bit, to make my labels. And because there's not enough room, which is why the original labels were being truncated, I placed C-suite lower down so you can still see it. It has a further horizontal position so you can mentally associate it with that last segment. But I liked this better than not having labels because the labels are kind of the point of the visual. This goes down as the job uh, leadership goes higher. The position is higher. And the reason that I renamed my fields in this visual were for this um, tooltip. It looks better is is a better explanation there so i'm going to give it a title but i'm turning it off and that title will be read by a screen reader but because i used text box. I don't actually want it to show up. Let me raise this up a bit so I can get the tops of the bars in line with this description. Make sure my Mako chart is on top in the layers. And then if we go back To our DAX measures, we had one that instructed people to choose a segment. And sometimes when you're using this, it doesn't pop up right away as far as autocomplete and finding what you're looking for, but eventually it does. This is text, so I really don't have to worry about formatting. There we go. So we're saying select a segment in the mosaic plot to the left to learn more about the representation of women versus other genders in the corporate pipeline. If I select something, it will tell me manager positions make up 28% of jobs. So that's the first part of the statistics we want people to be aware of. And then we have another one so we're going to add a value and that one's going to be gender percent jobs so i've selected senior manager and men so now I get senior manager positions make up 12% of jobs, men and other make up 64% of senior manager jobs. And if I unselect the bottom one is blank, which when we're not in desktop will show up blank instead of this icon and the top one tells us to select a segment. And that is our final product. Of course, we want to make sure that we check for accessibility issues. I've already checked my colors. I'll go back and add alt text where appropriate. Make sure things are in the right tab order. Give it a once over for general uh, visual principles that should be followed. But now we've made a mosaic plot or Mary Mako chart. Thank you so much for watching.